Hello, this is Glozell and this is S. I'm gonna put the air on. Okay, that's K. Yeah. Yeah. We are on our way to Hollywood. We're gonna see the Michael Jackson star. And there's a lot of people. Just go down there, play our little tributes. Um, well, last night we had some ruckus. I got, you know, so do you think we should tell our landlady? No. What happens is our landlady goes out of town and then, you know, there's parties that end up going, not, you know, not a full-fledged party party, but some people come over and have a little drink, have a little smoke while she's gone. Now, she might not care, you know, because by the time she gets home, you know, I don't know. But we couldn't go to sleep. They're kind of loud. Well, it's her son having her, his friends over, right? Right. What gets me is that it's just very, very disrespectful. You know, just very, very disrespectful. And said it that he didn't care. Right. Uh, about the neighbors or the fact that we were right outside. Right. And, uh... But it's costing her money because, you know, well, if it... That's why I'm leaving. That's why we're right. leaving. I already saw this coming. You know? It's happened before. Where you can smell, you know, the Mary Jane coming through the window and stuff. It's like, we're right out, we're right there. So, but you feel like we shouldn't even tell her? No, because it'll, it'll, well, it, I might know be some, it might be some type of retaliation, you know? Right. Like he does something to our cars. Or one of the friends or one of those yeah, people or, out there. Yeah, or one of his friends does something to, uh. To get us back. To our property, yeah. So. But you don't think we should tell her, like, when we leaving? Like when we're gone. Yeah, maybe when we leave, yeah, maybe. I mean, I, there's I nothing she can do about it, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're the ones that already suffered because of it. So, but anyway, I mean, that's how it is. I mean, just I, I got, I don't know if you, I never told you this, but I had, had gotten in a fight with uh, some younger guys, you know, just very disrespectful. I was at a gas station, they pulled in, blocked me in. And the guy tells me that I'm gonna have to wait until he gets done what he's doing. What? Yeah. So then he pushes past me and I push him back. And then he wants to fight and I'm holding him off. And then his boy comes out, his his partner, trying to act like he's trying to pull him off. But then he says, man, you're lucky we're not strapped because we would take care of you right now. This was in DC. And uh, it occurred to me that, yeah, I think I could whoop both of them, but it wouldn't have been with just fists, because no. these guys, even if I had beat them, these guys would have came back with, with, gun. with guns or tried to get to their gun. So it was like one of those things where I had to. Right, because I was asking you, don't go outside, don't yeah, say you, anything. All I did, what I did, I, and just, I, I just went to sleep. I just. And it was hard to go to sleep because they were loud. I just took myself to another place, and uh, it's crazy. Because uh, anytime you have uh, that type of altercation where the cops come out, they're going to arrest everybody. Doesn't matter that, that those guys are in the wrong. If there's any pushing or shoving, anyone's placed their hands on the other, everybody's going to jail. And I don't want to go to jail if you have some bullshit like that. But I'm just talking about them. They're just they're very disrespectful. I don't know, I just don't know what that's all about. But it's not cool. It is not cool no. to be like that. No. So. So and you can't do anything, you're helpless because it is your home. You know, it's our home right now. You got right the now. neighbors terrified. Yeah. You know, because any any person could have, any one of the neighbors could have called. Yeah. Nobody it, called. Yeah, but if someone called the, the police, then how, he's going to assume that it's us. Anyway. Because yeah. we're the closest ones. So then, because you were saying, well, I'm glad no one, is, is that what you said? Yeah, I was is glad, glad no, that no one called. Because if someone called the police, they would assume that it was they us. They would assume that it was us. And what's, what pisses me off about that, because that's almost like we're living in fear. Right. We're being terrorized by young people, <laughs> you know? And most lose. of them, I know I can still whoop their ass. Seriously. I know, honey. I know but, you can you know, whoop them, honey. But, but they, go, they come with guns now. Even if they came with a knife, it'd be okay. But they come with guns. I don't have a gun. I don't, carry, I don't need to carry a gun. And I really don't like to have that type of... Mentality or... or a tra that shouldn't even be in my life, you know? But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's like no code, no honor, just a different group of people on the planet. Right, right. If you have nothing to lose, or you feel like you have nothing to lose, but, and then, so, I'm st I kind of have like this head cold or a nose cold or something, and we come home to that, and I, we end up going to sleep, frustrated and going to sleep, and wake up the next morning and realize what? We 
broke our 100 day streak. Yeah, we did. We ended up not having sex. Now I'm so upset. I'm so, I'm like, it was like 56 days yeah. down the tube. 50. Well, no, it's not down the tube, it's just. I bit. mean, I groped him in the car. That, that doesn't really, I don't know, that doesn't really count. But So, we want to just, I know you don't want to start over. No, we don't have to start over. We'll just continue. We just missed a day. But it's not. I mean, you're sick. I you're guess it's sick. 100 days, just not in a row, huh? Well, I enjoyed it. Punks. Now, now you get personal punks. Oh well. So, so that's that. What's up to you if you want to continue? I'd still like to continue. I still like to continue. It was great. It was fun. Right. Even 30 days, like we talked before in one of the other videos, if a couple could do it 30 days in a row, I think that would be that would be a huge achievement, a huge milestone to do that. Okay, and we're house sitting. Now, I have to do with I'm face. just saying, are, you, are we going to have sex in Mary and Q's house? Uh, yeah, if the mood strikes us, I think we can. Okay. Now, before, it was like, oh, we have to have sex every day, but now it's like, I don't know what we're doing, so... But you don't think that's disrespectful to have sex in there? We already had this conversation. No, but we I didn't have it. We tell them. I don't think it's disrespectful. Maybe if we outside. Yeah, maybe if we're outside by the pool. By the pool. Yeah, it's not disrespectful. Nah, I, we bring our own sheets. Yeah, it'd be disrespectful. If leave a mess. But they have a washing machine. You leave a mess. Yeah, that'd be disrespectful. Well, it's not a mess. We don't leave a mess. That's all right. So this is where we are. On a way to go see Michael Jackson star. Had the little thing last night with. Uh, but what you know what we we're documenting this in a way because one day we'll have our own house. We want we want a house, our own house in Studio City, with our names on the deed. You know ours, paid for, kitchen. Paid for, yeah. With the kitchen and a bed. No yeah. bills, no debt. No bills, no debt, right? What do you want? You know, you have to put it out there. So this is what we want. Thank you. Over and out. Over and out, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.